Hi everybody and welcome to Moodle Support Theater. This is episode 6. We're looking at the grade book in Moodle 2.5 here at Humboldt State University and let's choose grades from the administration box and in this episode we are going to talk about backing up our grade book and working in Excel for more robust calculations and importing and exporting our grades. So in the grader report at the top we're going to choose export for either function. Let's select export. If we just want to back everything up we're going to come here and we're going to see no checklist found. What's that all about? We'll come over to the second list of choices and you'll see Excel spreadsheet. Give it a click and a much more familiar option will appear to you. If I'm just going to back this up, I'm going to use it the way it is. The only change I might make, the very top choice, include feedback in the export. If you have feedback in your gradebook and you want to include that, go ahead and put a check mark there. I don't have any feedback, so I'm not going to make that choice. To come to the bottom, I'm going to choose Submit, and there's an example. Yep, that looks pretty good. I'm going to choose Download. Now on my screen, I can either open it in Excel or save the file. For demo purposes, we're going to open the Excel file, and there it is. From here, save it as you will. I generally save once a week except during finals week when I think it's a good idea to save every day if I'm working in gradebook. That's a personal choice. Your classroom management style is entirely up to you. I'm going to simply close this and we're going to show you how to deal with this if in fact we were going to do a manipulation of data. And to do that we're going to use a little movie magic and go right back to the greater report where we began initially. Here we are in the greater report. We are again going to choose to export our data and we are again going to choose the Excel spreadsheet option. As that pops up, now we're going to use these checkboxes to our own good advantage. I'm just entering the homework assignments, those top three items. I don't need anything else. So I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to uncheck everything else from assignment three down. Now we never deal with the category totals anyway. Leave that blank. You don't want to put data in there. Moodle puts in numbers. So we're just going to export homework assignments one, two, and three and choose submit. Nothing else has been completed by our students yet. This is all we need. I'm now going to download it just as we did before and I'm going to open it for demonstration purposes. Now if you've done this before you may remember we used to have a column that looked like 30, 45 characters with the Humboldt student ID number and that had to be removed. We've fixed that. You no longer have to remove a column to import and export your grades. We're going to save a lot of steps that way. I still recommend, and everybody laughs at me, but it works fine when I do it, I'm going to highlight this first column where it has name, assignment, draft, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to make it bold, a personal choice. Now if I needed to manipulate my data, let's say I wanted to do some advanced calculations, give extra points for work done, I'm going to do that and I'm going to save my Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to save it as a CSV. You choose where you want to save it. You choose what you want to call it. But when you use the Save As Type drop-down feature, you're going to want CSV, comma delimited. Not Mac, not DOS, not anything else. Just CSV, comma delimited. Save your item. It's going to ask you if you wish to do that. And for some strange reason on my machine, this may not be showing up with uh, the other machines in use on this program, it asks you to resave, recopy. It's just a veritable click fest. So there you are. You have saved your work after working in Excel. You're back in Moodle and you're going to choose Import. And this is much simpler than it used to be. I make a habit of keeping my files on my desktop so they're easy to find. And by golly, there's my file. I'm simply going to drag and drop it right into the drag and drop area. It loads quickly. I'm going to leave everything else on the page alone. If I had to, I'd check CSV file, uh, but it appears that I have chosen 
wisely, so I'll simply choose to upload the grades, and as it did previously, it gives you a preview. Now, it used to be a lot of drama getting things to come back, but with this new method, I'm going to map from email address and map to email address. I don't have to import the name, email address, or anything. The only thing I did is work on assignment one, and I choose from the grade items, assignment one. Assignment two, I added data, and I'm very careful that I'm not choosing feedback, comments, or anything else. And assignment three. This is why I keep the list short. I don't want to have an entire huge grade book and play guess what I'm thinking. I want to make the choices limited to the things I've actually worked on and it's going to go much much faster. So I've chosen assignment 1, 2, and 3 and I'm going to choose upload grades, import grade success. That's what you want to see in the left hand side choose continue and boom you have brought in new grades to Moodle that you've calculated and done advanced work with off the site. You can use this for backup, and I strongly recommend it, or you can use it for extra robust gradebook practices. That's about all the time we have for this. Come on back. We'll wrap things up in our next edition, or give the Moodle office a call at 3633. We're happy to help you get that gradebook set up before things get complicated. Thank you.